For the last few years, the people of South Fairmount, well, they have put up with heavy construction and traffic headaches or nightmares even along Queen City and Westwood. But as WCPO 9 News reporter Lisa Smith shows us, the payoff is almost here in the form of the Lick Run Greenway. It's taken more than five years to get everything in place so that a stream can flow through South Fairmount. I did think it would take this long. I can't wait till it's done. <laughs> and I'm really excited to see, you know, what it brings. Jackie Chischilli is a lifelong resident of South Fairmount. Her husband, Jim Casey, is the community council president. What this project did was to kind of rewrite the canvas. The Metropolitan Sewer District is constructing the Lick Run Greenway as a way to separate storm and sanitary water and prevent overflows into the Mill Creek. But the project also recreates the Lick Run stream as a major feature along Queen City and Westwood Avenues. A large pond being built near Harrison will also be key. There's a large pond. Once that pond is completed, um, we will be able to have the, um, the flow from the stream be recirculated so that you will actually, um, you know, have the amenity of a, of a natural um, stream flowing through that area. The cost of the Lick Run project could reach $120 million. Sewer rates contribute to paying that price tag. It was an EPA consent decree that mandated a remedy for overflows into the Mill Creek. However, the project is a green solution that gives neighborhoods added amenities. We have lighting and um, the beginnings really of the civic recreation space that is being restored that used to be in place, including playgrounds and uh, basketball courts. And the community is looking at even more enhancements like park benches, businesses, and new residents. It opened up kind of a large amenity that's going to bring people, or we hope is going to bring people, um, around that core asset. Construction of the Lick Run Greenway is expected to be finished by spring 2021. Lisa Smith, WCPO 9 News.